Next, let's look at TV damage. I love TV damage, it's great. Um, I wanted to show this one off because uh, we also have scan lines and scan lines mono here, but uh, TV damage is basically like scan lines on crack. It's got just so many more um, features and so, many, so much more flexibility with what you can do with it. Um, obviously, it's we're trying to recreate a damaged um, TV or a TV with bad reception here whenever we drop it on a clip. But um, to really understand exactly what you can do with this, um, I want to suggest that you go and look in the preset browser at all the different presets that come loaded with Sapphire. Here we go. Here's the default. Here's a 70s looking TV. Um, this one, eight video, um, eight millimeter video home movie is one I is one I created, which I'm going to open up and, and talk about here in a minute. Um, here's cool TV. Here's distorted TV. Um, here's old broken black and white TV. Um, here's a totally scrambled cable box. Um, I've used this one quite a lot. Surveillance camera. Uh, make realistic looking surveillance camera footage. Here's the VHS uh, tape forward rewind um, that I was talking about and you can you can tweak this and customize this some more too but this is more what an actual tape rewind looks like so you have that effect as well. Um, here's another viewfinder effect um, that you can use this in color and um, here's sort of a cool poltergeisty looking white noise static that you can also create. Um, this is one that I created, this eight millimeter video home movie. I was working on a project once and um, I was trying to recreate old home movie footage. And uh, I'll date myself a little bit here, but uh, growing up, I had the first eight millimeter Sony videotape camcorder. And uh, I remember what that footage looked like very well. Um, the, the picture was very washed out. Um, it was, uh, you know, there was a lot of contrast between the highs and the lows. Um, a lot of the footage was overexposed. And of course, you got some scan lines in there too. So I went into TV damage and tried to recreate that. So um, Whenever you open it up, you've got your master reception slider up here at the top, and whenever you bump that up, you can you can determine how good or how bad your picture looks. So um, if you turn your reception master up high, you're going to make it look even worse. So um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, and if we're going to try and make this look like um, uh, old home movie footage, um, one of the things that I think was really important to creating this look was going down here and uh, playing with the color correction option and turning up the scale lights um, parameter. You can see what it does. It actually um, really blows out the, uh, the light, the, the luma values, the higher luma values um, in the picture. Um, and uh, while we're here, uh, looking over here in the effect editor, do notice that you can adjust every single one of the elements that you see here on the screen from tape dropouts, fast forward, color stripes, bars, vertical hold, um, every element that you see on the screen here is customizable and that's the reason why I like TV damage. It's very, very flexible. So um, uh, I'll just take this, uh, this particular eight millimeter video home movie look and I'm just going to drop it over here on top of this other clip and you can see what it looks like. It actually, it actually, aside from the fact that it's a 1920 by 1080, um, it uh, it does look pretty. It looks like a pretty original uh, old tape home movie camcorder footage. Um, so TV damage, play with it, try it out, and um, also I will include my eight millimeter home video uh, preset in there as well, so that you can play with that.